Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Those of you who have lived in old houses would have had the fortune of seeing these weird looking triangles near doors. These are called wedge door stoppers. So in this video, we'll talk on how wedges work and also give a brief introduction to wedge friction. Before we learn how a wedge stopper stops doors, it would be better if we learn what exactly a wedge is. Wedges are one of the six simple machines that all of us would have learned in our primary schools. The six simple machines are lever, wheel and axle, a pulley, a screw, an inclined plane and a wedge. Simple machines use only one applied force to do work against a single load force. Let me explain this by taking a pulley. On one side you apply a downward force, on the other side the object moves up. If you slowly release the pulley, the object will move down. One force, one load. The wedges are normally used by lumberjacks and sawyers to split a large log of wood into two along its axis. Wedges are also used to lift heavy objects like blocks of stones or marbles from their resting surface. A good example for this can be seen in stone quarries. After a stone is cut, a wedge is hammered in to increase the gap between the layers of the stone. A forklift is then brought in to lift the stone. Another good example of a wedge is splitting Malls. Splitting malls are a type of axe which are used to split blocks of wood into kindling for fire. The design of the splitting malls is much different than regular axes. They are meant to split the wood instead of cutting it. And because of this, they have a much more aggressive curve and angle than regular axes. The reason why wedges work like this can be well explained with this image. A downward force from the wedge produces forces perpendicular to the inclined surface of the wedge. So, Instead of cutting into an object, this causes the wedge to split the object. Now that we have a fair idea on how wedges work, let's talk specifically on how a wedge stopper stops doors. This is because of a very interesting concept called wedge friction. Let's take a view of the wedge and the door to better understand the concept. Let's focus only at the gap between the door and the floor. When the wedge is slid between the gap of the door and the floor, it prevents the door from moving in the direction of the wedge. Should a person try to close the door by moving it in this direction, direction, an oblique force will act on the wedge in this direction. This in turn forces the wedge into the ground. Based on the value of frictional force between the surface and the wedge, it will stop the door or move. We'll get much deeper into the topic by explaining the free body diagram and resolving the various forces acting on these bodies in our future videos. So until then, stay tuned and stay safe. Bye.